to show you how to make a fan. This is the X Fan 120, a 120 millimeter fan. Uh, and the process is going to be kind of typical for any fan that you have out there in the world. So let's make one of these. There's a few different ways to wind uh, the copper to make the magnetic coils. This is one way where they just wind it on. And beside that, there's a station where they actually stitch the copper on it. It's sort of a different method. It's on the, it's like inside versus outside. Two different ways to do it. They use the stitching method when they're doing six coils. Um, that's pretty much the only way to do it. They use the winding method when they're doing four coils. Things are getting a little bit hot over here. They're actually tinning the tips. There's a wave solder station right here. So they've got plenty of the magnets. They dip them in the tin. The tips get tinned and then they can solder other components to them. Without that, not gonna work. Here we're attaching the coils to uh, PCB. PCB is one of the only things that's not manufactured in-house. Uh, you'll notice lots of safety stuff going on here. We've got the mask, of course. But this tube here, it sucks all of the fumes out, so they're not breathing that in. And then, of course, there's an anti-static wristband on each employee, making sure everything stays nice and safe. More fun stuff, LEDs, any color you want. They're just soldering some LEDs uh, directly onto the back of the PCB right now. And then again, this step is going to be optional, depending on whether or not you get a unit with LEDs. The testing process. So what she's doing is she's got um, just a few leads and she's touching them to the PCB and making sure that all the lights come on. If the lights do not come on for some reason, maybe the solder didn't stick all the way or something, she puts them here and then right behind her, we have someone who can go in and fix any problems that we may have with the LEDs. Right here we have four people uh, that are soldering on the power. So just soldering you know, the power cord or whatever, the power cable I suppose it would be. Um, and then there's you know three pin and four pin. These are all PWM fans, so they're soldering four individual uh, wires onto each PCB. So now we're grabbing a plastic housing and taking everything that's been made so far and sort of threading it in so that it sits in the correct spot in the housing. It's pretty uh, meticulous uh, and difficult work, it requires a, a bit of finesse and just a lot of bending and moving things around, moving all these wires into place, uh, putting the, you know, the, everything into the grooves and the slots. Quite a decent amount of work going on right here. have something really important. It's not going to spin without this. So she's going to apply some oil and then it moves down the conveyor belt. He grabs it and applies a bearing right in the center. So the bearing is nicely oiled. Once the bearing goes through here, it comes on back. Here's where the uh, fan blades are applied. The housing and everything is ready. Uh, we have a metal ring that goes on the inside as well. And this presses it into place. Now what's happening is we're putting some more oil into the bearing. And once that's in there, once the, uh, the bearing is finished preparing, we can put the fan, or the blades I suppose, into the housing and we're good to go. Here's another very important step. This is quality control. Now inside here, they're testing the fan for noise. It's a soundproof room or as close as you can get. And the main thing they're listening for is any irregularity. It's not necessarily you know, checking to see how quiet it is or anything like that. Um, if it's too loud, then obviously something's wrong with it. But waveforms show up on the screen, and if they see an irregularity in the waveform, or if they hear an irregularity, then they know something is wrong with the fan. And every single fan that comes through gets tested in this room. As if all that other testing wasn't enough, they're going to test them again. Now that everything is together, they plugged them in in there and tested the sound. Now they're going to plug them in one more time, make sure all the lights come on, make sure the fan spins, and they're going to do it. Uh, this is basically the PWM test. They're going to do it at 30% and then they're going to do it at 90% and make sure that everything works perfectly before they box them all up to go to a different facility where they're going to put the graphics and logos and stickers and all that sort of thing on them, put them in a package and send them to you. This is the room where they're stress testing me. It's, these things are pumping out heat at 50C. That's hotter than my CPU runs and I've got an 8-core. Now right here we have lots of fans hanging here and they're baking in this heat and they're just running all day. The stress test. This is way too hot. Let's go.